91% of our kids, according to the state, when we're doing our uh, count of how many kids we have that are what we call our unduplicated count or our count of kids, they're going to need extra help. 91% um, fall in a category that is defined in that range. And so uh, we can spend all day doing our best to bond with them and to teach them, uh, but, but really additive services that come in and really teach the kid what it's like to, to be excited, to be enthusiastic, to explore things we couldn't possibly afford to do. You know, those are things, uh, lots of our kids are latchkey and they don't have that opportunity to, to have that exploration. I was at Higher Ground uh, yesterday and I just felt the love in the, in the air. The kids were very uh, engaged. They, the energy was high, the adults were excited. Um, and you could feel that the people were there to really embrace and care for the kids in ways that um, was really exceptional. These are volunteers and here they are making a huge difference for kids. The name Higher Ground sort of defines Higher Ground, which is taking us all to the next level as a community. So it's not just the kid having an art project, but it might be the kid having an art project while mom is learning something about how to help that child at home. You know, whatever it is, I think what Higher Ground does is that it looks at the community and says, this is what is needed now and finds a way to provide it creatively. So, I, you know, if you said what's higher ground, well, that depends on what the need is. And tomorrow there may be something different that this community needs. And I think uh, the beauty of higher ground is it, it, it seeks the next level and will continue to fill that need um, based on what's presented uh, in, in our community and what the kids and, and families are asking for.